Hey guys, today I have a one brand makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be using all e.l.f. Cosmetics products. I'm so excited to be doing another one brand video. I absolutely loved doing my last one, so I wanted to do another one for you guys. I absolutely love e.l.f., so I gathered up all the products I could. I actually purchased a few more as well to go ahead and create this look. This look is definitely more towards the fall vibe. I totally wasn't going for this look. I was just gonna do a simple look, but I figured I'd play around with the makeup and this is the look that I did come up with. If you guys are interested on in seeing how I got this makeup look as well as all the e.l.f. products I used for the entire full face, then let's go ahead and hop right on in. All right, so to go ahead and get started, I already did my brows off camera and I did put on some lip oil to hydrate up my lips. And before I go ahead and get into the makeup, I also wanna quickly mention that I am in a different filming space. I think my past two videos have been filmed in here but there's like no furniture in here, so if it comes off on camera as a little echoey, that is why we're still in the process of doing it all, but I did want to start filming in here, try to get a different setup going. I kind of like the white background right now, but that's definitely not gonna be like my permanent background, if you know what I mean. So I am still in the works of rearranging and you know moving in this beauty space, so I just wanted to let you guys know that if it sounds a little bit like an echo, I'm so sorry, I hope you guys are okay with it and I hope it doesn't sound too bad. So anyway, enough with that, I hope it doesn't sound too, too bad, but I did wanna go ahead and mention that since I'm gonna be talking a little bit through this video. So today I'm going to be doing a full face using all e.l.f. makeup products. I have a little story to tell you guys while I do my makeup, so we'll go ahead and get into that in a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this primer mist from e.l.f. that I did pick up, and I'm gonna go ahead and mist my face with this. It's not gonna really help control the pores or anything like that, but it's really gonna just hydrate up your skin and get it prepped and ready. Well, for foundation, I'm gonna go in with this foundation in the shade Buff. I believe it has a little bit more of a matte finish. I did use this when I did a photo shoot with them and I absolutely love the finish of it and the way my skin looked afterwards. I do have a little fun story I will talk about as I go, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my hand and then use an e.l.f sponge to apply it. absolutely love the sponge. I feel like the texture of it is a little bit different than my other beauty sponges and it doesn't like soak up a ton of product, which is good. So it looks really light in the container and pretty dark on my hand, but as I'm putting it on my face, I feel like it is blending down with my neck because I am a little bit darker down here. So, a fun little fact, if you guys do follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat, you guys do know already, but I don't think I told you guys on here, I do have vlog footage that I might insert maybe even in this video or in another video just to show you guys, but I just haven't like had the opportunity to make a full video out of it and I don't know why. If you guys follow me, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I actually got the opportunity to be on a billboard in New York City with e.l.f. Cosmetics, um, I did a photo shoot with them. That picture ended up on a billboard in the middle of New York City. I literally, to this day, can't believe that that happened. It's definitely gonna be a time that I never forget. The, one of the biggest things that's ever happened in this career for me, such a surreal moment and everything. Like I still, like I said, can't believe it ever happened and I literally have you guys to thank and I'm sorry if it didn't come off like I was saying thank you enough on here. Thank you so, so, so much. It was a crazy, crazy experience. And yeah, if you guys did see the picture, it is on my Instagram. Photo shoot was amazing and I did wear this foundation during it and it was completely amazing. I loved the finish of it and it photographs really well as well. So you guys wanted to know that. But I am just so happy and you guys don't even understand. Like, I've never thought in my wildest dreams that that would ever become something. So I like seriously love this foundation. I think it gives so much coverage and I believe it was only like six bucks, which is amazing. That's another reason why I love them. They're so affordable and the products aren't like crappy products, you know? They're affordable, but they do have high quality pigment, which I love. So I've been a big e.l.f. lover since before I even started my YouTube channel. It's been a big deal for me since this whole thing happened because e.l.f. is one of the brands that I actually first purchased and it just means a lot to me. So for that to happen with a brand that I absolutely love is so crazy, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. So, yes. But anyway, back to the foundation. I'm obsessed with this, as you can see, it does have a fuller looking coverage. Move on over to concealer. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. concealer in the shade Light. 
And I believe this was one of their HD ones. While that's on there, I'm gonna go in with my cream contour palette from e.l.f. as well and use my two shades that I literally use every single day. Go ahead and apply it actually with this e.l.f. brush. This is their 104 brush and it fits perfectly in the cheekbones. I'm gonna put a little bit on. I feel like I talk about this product so, so much, but seriously, and I look crazy right now. Um, seriously, it is amazing. Like, it blends so effortlessly, and the colors, I think, are beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on those spots, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer first with this Beauty Blender. Blends out really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use this pointed side to go ahead and blend out the contour. And I like to use stippling motions and bring it upward so it gives an uplifted effect. You guys don't even understand, I'm obsessed with this cream contour. It's so inexpensive and I feel like it does the same thing as my Anastasia one, so yes. <laughs> Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes and I'm going to use this loose powder. This is in the shade Sheer. So it's just like a translucent type of deal and it does come with a little puff in here, but I tend to not use those. But that is convenient if you do like them. Go ahead and use this side of the sponge. Get it on there. And press right underneath, just how I would normally do with my Laura Mercier. I'm just going to go ahead and get a little bit in there. It is a little bit of a different consistency, but... It's still like translucent, which I like. Okay, feels pretty nice with some powder bronzer and a little blush and this is in the shade St. Lucia. I'm gonna go right in with this bronzer first. So once I have all of that on and blended, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the eyes. I'm gonna go in with the concealer again, just go ahead and give my eyelids a primer. So I'm gonna put a little bit on and then we're gonna blend it out. I don't think I use eyelid primer anymore. I think I literally switched over to just concealer and I find it works so much better, but that's just my opinion. So I'm gonna also bring it up to my brow bone a little bit and extend it right over here and do these patting motions. A little bit more of that translucent powder and just quickly dust a little bit over it just so we can set it down. And I'm gonna go in with this shadow brow and liner palette and it looks like this, pretty neutral tones in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and dust this from my crease right over there and inner to outer. Ooh, that's a lot of pigment. And this will just pretty much act as our transition but it will also like be good for the crease because I haven't really decided what kind of look I want to go for yet. But we definitely just needed some dimension over here. And I like to always extend that type of shadow right by the end of my brow. It just gives a little bit more of, I don't know, a little bit more of like a flawless look I think instead of like stopping it right over here. I like when it flows out. I'm gonna go in with this color right over here from the e.l.f. Aqua palette. That is beautiful. And I'm just gonna keep this kind of like meshed right over here, mainly in the center where it's more vibrant and then it'll fade out on both the corners. Then I'm gonna go in with a brush and blend from the top portion. Wow, that color is really, really pretty. I'm probably gonna top this look off with like a nude lip since I wasn't planning on doing something really vibrant like this, but we're gonna go in with more of that color right into the center and kind of bring it upwards a little bit and blend. 
And I'm gonna go in with one of these shades over here, pretty much like a darker one, so maybe one of both of those combined, just to give a little bit more of a deep look for this, since it is a little bit too, I don't wanna say bright, but I don't wanna have it look like too summery. I wanna keep it more like warm tone. Then I'm gonna take the other end of that little brush and take the darkest shade in this palette and run it right underneath my lower lash line. And I'm also gonna take the other side where we use that pinkish burgundy shade and I'm gonna fluff that right underneath as well just so they all mesh together. Okay, so once I have that on my eyes, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is right now after I did a ton of blending just because I don't wanna keep messing with it. Um, it just looks like a blown out fall type of eye, which I really like. And the pinkish shade turns out a little bit more a hot pink, I must say, but this is really good. I'm obsessed with how these like actually blend out. Right, so next I'm taking this e.l.f. mascara, and this is their mineral infused mascara in the shade black. So this wand is definitely one that I love. I had to put this on my lower lashes. Then I'm gonna go in with these lashes from Salon Perfect in the style 614. I'm obsessed with these right now, and I don't have any e.l.f. lashes around me, so that's why I'm gonna use these, but. And I'm just gonna go back in with this color right here just to pop a little bit more onto the lid right into the center. So today I'm gonna go ahead and use this highlighter. This is their big highlighter in Apricot Glow. And I'm also gonna be using their e.l.f. Beauty Shields Daily Defense Makeup Mist to adhere to the highlighter a little bit and get a little bit more extra glow. Yes. I'm also going to go in and mix this pink diamond highlighter. This also is their baked highlighter. And it's more of a little bit of a pinkish. Yes, pretty, pretty, pretty. So beautiful. A little bit of this apricot glow and put it right into the inner corner. I'm also going to put a little bit underneath my brow. I'm going to go ahead and top off this look for the lippies. I'm going to Probably go in with this Mocha Twist Lip Plumping Gloss, and then I'll see what this one looks over top of it. Hopefully it works. Okay, now to go ahead and set it all down, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Mist. So that is the completed makeup look. I was really excited to use a bunch of e.l.f. makeup products. I had a lot of them laying around. I actually picked up a few yesterday as well. So I was like, let's just film a full one brand tutorial using all e.l.f. And of course, I love e.l.f. cosmetics. I think that is all for this video and for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe found it a little helpful. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not already, if you would like to stick around and be part of the fam. So I believe that is all for this video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.